What's up, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy, McFly, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. Coming at you again with an auto real review. Appreciate you guys coming through, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Like the video. Dislike the video. Leave a comment. Don't leave a comment. Whatever you want to do, man, just make sure you subscribe. We're currently on the road to 5K. I'm trying to get that done by the end of the year, man. So if everybody sub up, bro, we'll be good to go. Um, And other announcements, who has the heat, the forever battle popping show on all of youtube man go subscribe to them shout out to who has the heat me myself included 313 retro queen and e money shoes we are the militia keeping that popping for y'all on saturdays and sundays uh season eight this should be finishing up lebron battle will be finishing up real soon and uh we got more stuff coming down the pipeline for you bro so stay tuned it's always something now as you can see we got the ugly stepchild of the concepts pack the uh mellows for some reason a lot of people did not feel the mellows me personally i was one of them i was not really feeling the mellows at first um i have all three i actually completed the set with this purchase i bought these off of goat shout out to goat once again very very reasonable price on these slightly over retail but under my uh 50 max over retail margin so it was a no-brainer for me to uh go ahead and cop these uh size tag on that joint size 14 air max ones one of the few air maxes that i can actually buy in my normal size and not have um any issues but like i said you see the box is crazy the details and all that if you want to see the reviews of the far outs and the um heavies I'll, I'll put i'll link those throughout the video so you can find them if you miss it watching you can go to my nike playlist and you can catch them there just putting it there you got options man Everything's out here for you viewing pleasure. I try to make it as easy as I possibly can. So, um, how I originally came across them, like I said, I got these off of GOAT. The um, heavies, uh, the homie OG Sneakers actually sold me those. Why he had a size 14 in heavies, I have no idea. But he sold them to me. I paid the super high for the, <laughs> for the far outs. And y'all know I don't be doing the retail thing, but I sold my military black four and a pair of uh, Panda Dunk Lows for the far out. For the far out. So, y'all tell me, y'all think that was a good deal? Black military four and pandas for far out air max one and the concepts pack with the special box with the bus box you know what i'm saying did that with all the accessories and all that did that but that's not why we're here today man so i got to look in and i was like man you know what you know i didn't like the heavies i thought the far outs was the best pair the heavies really grew on me and then out of the blue the the mellow started growing on me and i was like man i'm gonna probably have to grab a pair of these y'all know i ain't the one to complete a set but the more i looked at it the vibe of the shoe just kind of made me want it so i ended up falling in the trap and copping it what really sold me was the purple hits y'all know being from charlotte the charlotte hornets purple and teal that's our thing you got some teal on this swoosh purple hits going up and around and then that swoosh right there that's probably the best swoosh out of all three that thing is fire absolute fire if you don't know where the concept <laughs> concept where the concept of the shoe actually came from it was commemorating woodstock the concerts uh from back in the day the grunge look crazy look bandanas all that stuff drugs you know, in music shows, everybody knows what Woodstock is. Actually, the Woodstock logo is right there on the actual uh, toe cap of the shoe. The denim is to represent the jeans and things that people wore. You know, things of that nature, bro. It's it's a solid, solid collab. Probably this will probably be Air Max collab of the year. Air Max of the year, and the Far Out will probably be my favorite air max of the year funny story i had absolutely no air max ones until 2022 now i have five or six pairs crazy right so you got this deep purple this deep beat purple outsole on these joints coming up to your midsole it's a cell color with that uh brown splatter to resemble dirt from walking around at the shows you know all the woodstock shows are outside there ain't no indoor thing this is back in the day for the hippies and peace, love, dude, you know, all of that. And like I said, man, hippies are still around. They just look a little different. They took showers. They got jobs, you know, and they grew up a little bit. And you've got this green hit wrapping around. Solid touch on that, man. It just basically plays off of everything else. Colors that you wouldn't normally see together. Themes that you wouldn't normally see together. They've got 
Brazilian cow fur on for some reason. Why they put a cow in there? I don't really know. As well as the stonewashed denim. You see the denim pattern ain't the same. The toes one way. This pattern up here is another way. You got your tricolor swoosh on your lateral sides. And then you got your floral swoosh on your medials. Shout out to that. Purple trim across that ankle with concepts written on the back here. It says concepts right there. And finishing off that pattern around your ankle. Now, you get into your laces. Burgundy laces, flat. This is a velvet tongue with your concepts branding on the tongue tag. Shoe also comes with extra laces, as you can see. There they go. They just fell out. Interior, you've got your concepts branding on the inside as well as another little pattern in there. Um, Paisley caps off the heel. The shoe ain't for the Crips. <laughs> I know how y'all be doing. Paisley on that. And that's really my only knock, man, out of the my other two pairs. They have a lot of Paisley on the heel, and this one don't. I'm, all, I'm considering selling this pair and buying another pair in hopes to get a pair with uh, more Paisley on the, on the actual back of the shoe that's the star of the show to me like this one you see how you got all this paisley back here like how that look it just it just looks better even though this side kind of blank you still at least got that one side and i was i was a little salty about that but i've gotten over it i've been sitting on this shoe for quite a while i just didn't have the time to um shoot the reviews or whatever but yeah man You've got your Concepts uh, guitar pick. All the shoes came with uh, guitar picks. Um, they all had some sort of extra laces. You know, they all came with extra laces. So just the Concept was crazy. And just a solid shoe all around. So let me know how you feel about them. Which pair is your favorite? Is it the Mellow? Is it the Heavy? Is it the Far Out? Y'all know Far Out is my favorite, but I would like to know you guys' favorite as well. As far as sizing, go true to size on these joints. Comfort is an A. I give them an A comfort. Um, shout out to Nike and the Air Max line. Now that I've got my sizing figured out, comfort's cool. Uh, go true to size in these. Uh, actually, my far outs are size 15. And they still fit fine. So you can go up the size if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. It's a point that I'm trying to make. Uh, pack complete. You know, for once, I completed the pack. Shout out to Concept for this beautiful, beautiful pack that they put together. I appreciate you guys for watching the videos coming through and always supporting your boy. And until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I holla at you.